हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज श्रुति श्रीवास्तव कंप्यूटर टीचर फ्रॉम माउंट लिट्रा जी स्कूल झांसी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज फ्लो चार्ट सो लेट्स बिगिन व्हाट इज अ फ्लो चार्ट अ फ्लो चार्ट इज अ पिक्चर और अ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग प्रोसेस इट गिव्स अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसीजर फॉर सोल्यूशन ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम now here are some elements of flow chart first is it has various geometrical shaped boxes which represent the steps of the solution and there are various directional arrows which shows the flow of the solution now here some uses of flow charts are also given so a flow charts are used to specify the method of solving a problem then it helps in planning the sequence of a computer program and for communicating ideas and solution of different problems now you might have heard ipo cycle yes it stands for input processing output cycle so basically flow chart works on this cycle only so here some guidelines are also given for drawing a flow chart first is identify input and output then apply logical thinking skills to solve the problem which you can consider at as a processing part also and the third part is draw the flow chart using the appropriate symbols and arrows to show the sequence of problem solving steps if the arrows or symbols are not correct then your flow chart will going to get wrong so it's it is very necessary to put appropriate symbols and arrows at correct places now with the help of this table we'll get to know about which geometrical shape is used for what purpose so first one is ellipse so an ellipse is used to indicate the start and end of a flow chart then second one is parallelogram a parallelogram represents input or output then the third one is rectangle rectangle denotes the processing that takes place in the flow chart or generally we use we use to apply any type of formula in rectangle box then the next is diamond so diamond shape is used for conditional purpose it has two branches whenever a question is been asked it has either answer yes or no so at that time you can use the diamond box and the last one are arrows so arrows are used to connect the various steps in a flow chart and it also show the flow or sequence of the problem solving process so these are the five major flow chart symbols which are used to draw a flow chart now let's see the first flow chart so the question is to find the sum of two numbers so as i told you that the flow chart works on ipo cycle so first we'll going to start the flow chart so for starting i told you that it always start with an ellipse shape so we'll draw an ellipse shape and write start in that after that an arrow will be put downwards which indicates that flow chart is flowing from upwards to downwards the sequence of flow is from upward to downwards so the second step will be input so input is that we have to take two numbers as an input that is read a and read b that means we have assumed that there are two numbers that is a and b so we have written read a and b after input processing part will take place so as you all know processing will take place in rectangular box and in processing rectangular box we will going to put a formula that is sum is equal to a plus b as our question is 
you have to find the sum of two numbers and we have assumed the two numbers as a and b after that the processing part then we'll going to get an output in the form of parallelogram that is print sum after that the we'll going to put an ellipse and write end in that so here this is how you can make the flowchart to find the sum of two numbers at the left hand side you can also see the derivation part as they have assumed the value of a is 8845 and the value of b is 247 then sum is equal to they have added both the numbers and they have got the sum as 1092 as answer then the flowchart ended so i hope you all have understood this much rest of the topics we'll going to discuss in our next video thank you for watching